What's good? My name is Charity Crop. You know what I like? Galaxies. You know what a galaxy looks like? A hurricane. You know what a hurricane looks like? A seashell. You know what a seashell looks like? Your ear. Did you know that you resembled a galaxy? 1.618 is known as the golden ratio, the mathematical value that is found throughout the universe that seems to hint towards a common factor between everything. The fingerprint of God. You know what a fingerprint looks like? The top of your head, the inside of a head of cabbage. It seems that both your head and the head of cabbage were designed, perfectly, mathematically designed. But that would imply a designer. Is there a God? Well, the atoms in your body are traceable to exploded stars in the sky. So physicist Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson says that not only are you in the universe, but the universe is in you. You are literally stardust. The law of conservation of mass states that matter can be changed from one form into another. Mixtures can be separated or made, and pure substances can be decomposed. But the total amount of mass remains constant. In other words, the total mass of the universe is constant. Whenever matter undergoes a change, the total mass of the products of that change is the same as it was in the beginning. In fact, it is scientifically law, a fact, that your body mass has been here since the beginning of the universe. You are 13.8 billion years old. The time you've spent here on Earth is just how long you've been aware of your existence. But in actuality, you have been here since God said, let there be life. You said it with him. Are you God? Are you God? Speaking of God, did you know that there are about 20 numbers that dictate the state of this universe? The mass of an electron, the strength of gravity, electromagnetic force, numbers that create our universe. World-renowned physicist Dr. Brian Greene says that these numbers have been measured with incredible precision, but no one has an explanation as to why they have the particular values that they do. He says that if any one of these numbers were altered in even the slightest way, our entire universe would cease to exist. Our universe has been designed, perfectly, mathematically designed, but that would imply a designer. Is there a God? You ever felt like you were being watched, stared at? Then you turn around and see, yup, that weird guy six tables away was indeed staring at you? How did you know that? Could this be proof that there is some other medium by which information can be received other than the five senses? Do you see dead people? Probably not, but you do feel eyes. You do think about that person that you haven't talked to in months and then suddenly they call your phone. You do dream about things before they happen. You do speak about people and then they just pop up. You have created things out of sound. Speaking of which, did you know that if you take a plate of salt and place certain sound frequencies at it, that the vibrations will cause the salt to form into perfect geometric shapes? These are pictures of sand created by simply exposing them to strong sound vibrations. Words can literally manipulate the matter around you. This is a picture of jars of rice after 27 days of speaking to them. The jar on the right, people only said I love you to it. The jar on the left, people only said I hate you to it. And thus, the I hate you jar molded astoundingly quicker. These are pictures of ice crystals. The bottom row was spoken to positively as they froze. The top row was spoken to negatively as they froze. These are the results. You can speak your world into existence. There is power in your words. John 1 and 1 from the King James Version of the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. String theory postulates that the entire universe, including me, you, and this screen that you're looking at me on, is composed of microscopic vibrating strings of pure energy. Sound. Words spoken in a language that we don't fully understand. Living words. You are the living word. Are you God? If so, Nice to meet you. I love you.